Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I know it's been a while since I've been here. We've just been super busy getting ready for the holidays and all of that kind of stuff. And Adam had some time off, so I just spent time with him and the boys. But anyway, today we have a new video. We're gonna do some grocery shopping. We're going Christmas tree shopping. And I know it's a little late for a Thanksgiving video, but that's my life right now. I'm behind on everything. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you do, don't forget to hit that like button, and let's get to it. On this morning, I just made some simple breakfast tacos. I made some scrambled eggs with some heavy cream, added in some bacon bits, and then piled these on some tortillas with some tater tots, and some shredded cheese, and pecani sauce, and these were so delicious. There's just nothing like a good breakfast taco. And the boys finally had their hot chocolate bombs that Grandma Sherry gave them for Halloween. See, I'm totally behind. It's right before Thanksgiving and we're just now having Halloween things. But they enjoyed them, so that's all that matters. We're on a mission today. What are we going to get? A Christmas tree! I guess! We, we just got one! <laughs> so yesterday we went and got a Christmas tree. Because if you've been here a while, you know we had this huge, giant tree that we loved, but it died. Half the lights on it don't work. I don't know if it's half, but... We could just take the lights off and restring it, and we might just end up doing that still, but... We wanted to get a new tree, and the boys wanted to get... A snowy tree so we did that we got this tree from Walmart that says it's six and a half feet and it's flocked and we thought it'd be big and pretty they didn't have any on display can I help you stop it so we moved my desk and we cleaned everything up and we put the tree up got it out of the box and it was just not exciting like we were disappointed by it so so we're gonna go today and see if we can find a tree somewhere else since walmart doesn't have them on display you can't tell what they look like before you take them out of the box so we might go to home depot or lowe's and see if we can find a tree and we need to go grocery shopping and get stuff for Thanksgiving and all that. So, we're on a mission today to either find a tree, or if we don't find one we like, we're just gonna get lights and fix our old tree. I don't know. I've been saying for a couple years that I wanted a new tree, even though we love the one we have. I didn't love the lights on it because they're like, they're LED and they're not bright. Like, you turn the white lights on and it doesn't light up the room. I feel like a Christmas tree should light up the room. But I don't know. Anyway, that's like my Christmas thing. Adam and I don't really get each other gifts. It's all about the kids. And then I like to decorate. So hopefully I'll have a tree to decorate with. Anyway, we moved furniture around and all of that. So my house is a mess right now. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing with it. I'll figure it out when I start decorating. But first, we have to find a tree and get food. We need food. So I figured I'd just take you along with us today and you can hang out with us and maybe see the new tree if we get one.
How long have we been trying to find a parking spot? I don't know. Two minutes. And then say like the whole, the other that lady we just saw that tried to get in her car that wasn't even hers. We got a Christmas tree though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We. Well, I had planned on recording more in the store, but it was a madhouse in there. It was crazy. It took us 10 minutes to find a parking spot, and I think every single person in town was at that store. But we got our groceries. Okay, so we went to H-E-B and Dollar Tree, and we've got all kinds of stuff on the table. Some of it's not food. It's Christmassy things. And then we have tons of food over here, so I'm going to show you the cold stuff first, and then we'll do the rest, because i got to get this stuff put away. All right, so a lot of this stuff is for our meal plan, and then some of it is for Thanksgiving. So, sweet and unsweet tea. Sweet and unsweet. <laughs> These are both for Thanksgiving at my dad's. We're going to take those over there. We needed a gallon of milk. We grabbed some lunch meat. We got honey ham and smoked ham. I grabbed the boys some hot dogs just for quick lunches. And then to go with the ham for sandwiches, we got some Colby Jack. Got a couple of different shredded cheeses. Sharp cheddar is for macaroni and cheese. Mozzarella is for pizza. And then the Oaxaca cheese is for a corn casserole that I'm making for Thanksgiving. We got an 18 count of eggs because they were all out of the dozen. Grab some cottage cheese for snacking some vanilla yogurt for the boys we got some sour cream this is for the macaroni and we're gonna be having baked potatoes and stuff so that's what this is for too grab some heavy whipping cream that is for the corn casserole too some pie crusts i wanted the frozen ones that were already in a pan but of course they were sold out so we just grabbed these and some foil pie pans and i'm gonna make some pies for thanksgiving we wanted a quick and easy dinner tonight, so corn dogs it is. Grabbed two packs of butter. Lots of butter going into lots of Thanksgiving things. We grabbed some of these chicken patties. We had these recently. We just make them like a fast food chicken burger. And they're pretty good, so I got those just for like a quick lunch or if we want to have a lazy dinner. Got a big bag of corn because I couldn't remember how much I need to make the corn casserole. So I didn't want to not have enough. So we just got the big one and whatever's left we'll just put in the freezer for dinners. Some whole green beans for a dinner. French fries to go with burgers. We grabbed a big pack of drumsticks. And then we have three pounds of ground beef. And one big chuck shoulder roast we wanted a london broil and all they had was little bitty ones so we just got that instead and a big bag of chicken wings oh can't forget the bacon all right over here we have all kinds of stuff we have some red crackers for the corn casserole the boys wanted some granola bars they got the cookies and cream ones this time and then tucker picked out the variety pop tarts Toaster, pastries, same thing. I grabbed some organic, regular sugar and brown sugar for some of the things I'm making to take to Thanksgiving because my sister is vegan and there's something about bone something and other sugars. I don't know exactly what, but these are vegan, so I grabbed those. For produce, we got a big bag of potatoes. We're going to be having a lot of mashed potatoes and some baked potatoes. Grab the boys some pink lady apples. And then I got some sweet potatoes to make to think to make to take to Thanksgiving. Grab the boys some blueberries to go in their yogurt. We got some lettuce for salads and burgers. And three tomatoes. Those are just those will be. I can't talk for burgers and for whatever else we need them for. We have some wonton strips for salads, some vegetable oil, I wanna make some fried chicken, so we needed oil for that. Some more ketchup and our favorite dressing, of course. Cheddar cheese soup for macaroni and cheese. 
two things of bacon bits. We plan on having a lot of salad and, like I said, baked potatoes. So we'll go through those. Some brown gravy mix for meatloaf. Some rotini noodles for the mac and cheese. They didn't have any elbows. Some chopped pecans for the sweet potatoes. Yeah, for the sweet potatoes. We got a whole big mix of different kinds of ramen just to have as a quick lunch one day. Sour cream and onion chips and puffy Cheetos to go with lunches. I grabbed some Tylenol because we were almost out. Some black olives for salads. Some steak sauce just because we were running low. And grabbed the boys some applesauce. And then back here we just have paper towels, toilet paper, a loaf of bread for sandwiches, some hot dog buns, hamburger buns, those will be for burgers and for those chicken sandwiches. And then we've been out of foil for a while, so I grabbed some foil. Freezer bags, we've been out of those too, and trash bags. Last night I was talking to my friend Kayla and I couldn't remember what it was that I need to put on the grocery list and it was driving me nuts and it was trash bags. And I remembered them. We also got pie pans for the pies, and then these bigger pans are for the sweet potatoes and the corn casserole. And I think that's it. I don't know, the store was insane. I feel like my brain is broken. Just a little bit. And then at Dollar Tree, we also grabbed a couple of things. <clears throat> We've been grabbing boxes of cereal there because they're huge for the price. Garrett really likes this bubblegum one. I mean, I guess it's no worse than Fruit Loops or something. And then Tucker picked out Cocoa Crispy Rice. I grabbed some spices while we were there because they're super cheap. Some cinnamon, some nutmeg, some more pepper. And then I grabbed this little nutcracker guy to add to our Christmas stuff. Some cleaner. They didn't have my favorite one. I was sad, but this will do. Some flossers, and then some cute stuff down here. The boys each wanted one of these little mask puppet things to paint. Oh, I forgot to get yellow paint still. Anyway, we got a Santa and a reindeer. I grabbed two of these little ornaments in case we want to make a little ornament craft before they're all gone. I grabbed some of those. I grabbed this sign. I thought it was cute. It's the most wonderful time of the year. And I had to get this guy. This little gnome wanted to come home with me, so he did. He's so cute. What do you think, Crosby? What's the matter with you? What's wrong? What are you doing? Why do you look so sad? He's a good boy. That's everything we got from H-E-B and Dollar, Dollar Tree. And that ended up being with our discount and the little bit of coupons we had. Nope, we didn't have any coupons. Mm -mm. <laughs> hmm. Anyway, we saved forty-eight seventeen, and our total was $181.38, which is pretty good for all that food. Okay, so here's our meal plan for the week, not including Thanksgiving. We're gonna make some fried drumsticks, some mac and cheese, and mashed potatoes, and gravy. I forgot to get I think we have some chicken gravy or something, don't we? We got all kinds of crunchy gravy. And I had coleslaw in here, but I decided to either just get it later or not get it at all. Meatloaf and gravy with mashed potatoes and green beans. And then we have our, this is wrong, now it's a roast something. Adam wants to make something in the smoker if it'll ever stop raining. I want to make some brains and pieces, poor boy. It and with that, we're going to have some <laughs> Angus. <laughs> we're going to have some baked potatoes and some artichokes. But the artichokes at H-E-B were like the size of baseballs, so Adam's going to get some at Walmart later. Then with the leftover artichoke hearts, we're going to make a bacon and artichoke yeah. pizza with a salad. One night, we're going to have wings with potato skins and salad. And then the other night, burgers and fries. And then here is what we're bringing to Thanksgiving. We have cream corn casserole, sweet potato casserole, some brown sugar pie, and some tea. 
so here it is our new Christmas tree this thing took me forever to fluff it's covered in all that flocking so all the branches stick together and my floor like snow got everywhere but that's okay it turned out so pretty when it was all done I love that it has pine cones on it and the boys love that we can change it to colored lights and the white lights just like our old tree because they like the colored ones and I like the white ones so we just switched up once it's all decorated this is gonna look amazing So for Thanksgiving, we made these brown sugar pies that I saw on Moss Family TV's channel. I'll link that video down below. These were amazing. Ours didn't turn out too pretty because the crust fell in while it was cooking. I don't know what happened to it, but it was delicious. This is definitely my new favorite and I'll be making these again very soon. We had a great Thanksgiving over at my dad's house and I didn't get a single picture or video or anything. We were just enjoying the moment. But anyway, I hope you all had a happy Thanksgiving if you celebrate. Thank you guys so much for spending the day with us, and we'll see you guys in the next one.